Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to do a uh, quick web application and add some logging. Uh, we're going to use Log4Net to, uh, to do the, the error logging for us. And basically, it's to show you how to uh, incorporate uh, logging into your application. Um, and the reason you want you might want to add logging to your application is to um, log certain events uh, that occur in your application, uh, to log errors, uh, so that you can go um, and look at your log files afterwards, see what went wrong in the app, or if you just want to pull some stats and see which pages are used um, and what's happening. So let's go and, and select new file, new application, uh, sorry, file, new project. Okay, and we uh, go for Visual C Sharp Web and ASP.NET Web Application, and you can give it a name. Let's let's name it uh, Application Logging. Go okay. Okay, and here we're going to go with uh, MVC, that's that's good for now, just leave all the other defaults, go OK. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to go uh, and add log for net. We're going to use log for net, so let's add it to um, as a third-party um, library to application. You can basically uh, click on view, view menu, solution explorer, and then right-click uh, on the project level. Go down and select um, Manage New Get Packages. Now there are basically two ways we can we can add New Get Packages. Is that we can come here and we can search for the library we want to, to add or the third party uh, library. Okay, and sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't find it here. From browse, and here we go. So it finds it here. You can click there and install, which will install it. Or you can close it here, and you can click on your view menu uh, here, which says other windows, and go to the package manager console, and you can type in your. Uh, install dash package uh, log for net and this will install the latest version of that specific library into your project okay and it says here successfully installed so that's the first step done then you go into your solution explorer and you need to right click again on the project level and select add menu and we want to add a, a config file so since this is a web uh, web application and not a uh, windows application or desktop forms application we're going to add a web configuration file otherwise if it was a um, a windows forms application you would have added a app.config application config file. So let's call it your uh, log for net um, this is called log, log for net it should have a dot uh, config extension file extension okay so here you see log for net dot config okay and you can basically delete all of this and uh, you're gonna add some uh, 
some standard code um, I've written a previous application so I'm just going to grab it from there and I'll explain to you line by line what what we do here so um, okay so basically it, it, you've got a log for net um, a log for net uh, root level here node and um, I'm going to show you the interesting bits here. So we have here level value equals info. Okay, so this is where you set the, the, the level of logging it needs to do. So the different levels you can you can specify here it only to only have it log uh, errors or uh, warnings or just info basic information you want to log in your app. So if you specify your info, then it's also going to log all the information logs that you that you. Uh, that you write to log for net, as well as uh, any errors that you want to log. Okay, I'm going to just show you how that works, what the difference is. So let's just leave it on info for now. Okay, the rest of this uh, is all standard. You can just basically copy and paste this uh, each and every time you add log for net to one of your applications. So uh, what we're using here is um, the append ref is a ref equals file, so we're going to append it to a file and not. There's another mode that you can append it or you can log to a database table like SQL Server database table. Well, we're going to log, write a log out to a physical file on the hard drive. Um, okay, so the next thing you, you need to notice here is uh, we're using a rolling file appender. So, what that means is uh, it's going to log to a file up to a certain amount. Uh, to a size, and when the file gets to uh, more than a specified um, megabytes, it's going to basically create a new file and log to that file again. Um, okay, so this is to basically specify the maximum file size, and we leave it at 10 megabytes, as you can see here. Um, and it's going to create five files, basically. It's going to go over into five times into uh, uh, creating a, a new file for you every time. And um, what also is important here is the file, uh, the value. So this is the uh, the location where you're going to store your log file. And we're going to store it relative to our application in the logs folder, and we're going to call it myapp.log. Okay, so that's all the important bits here. Okay, so now we have uh, have that going. Um, now to get to the actual login, so. You can go to Solution Explorer and open one of your uh, open the Home Controller. Okay, and basically uh, here we're going to add a reference to the the logger. I'm just going to grab a uh, bit of code that I've written for that. Okay, let's just uh, grab it from here. Okay, so basically this is uh, very standard. Each and every time you're going to use it, uh, you're going to have to type out uh, this line of code. So we, we're instantiating an instance of uh, log for net like this, log for net dot ilog, which is the interface. Okay, uh, log and it, you, you instantiate a new log manager. And here we use the get logger um, function. Okay, so this is pretty much a standard line of code, and you will see here's like a red squiggly sign here. So it means basically it doesn't find uh, it doesn't find uh, log log find. Okay, no, it's finding it. Sorry, this is actually wrong. You need to put it into the clause. It was just in the namespace. Let's just put it into the clause. Okay. Right, so there we go, and now we can begin to log. So, if enough instance we want to log some stats, we want to see when the uh, when the user hits the, the index page. So we're just going to say um, log dot info. We're just logging some info in this instance, and we're going to say um, uh, index page hit, just like that. That's going to log every time that uh, the user comes to the index page. You're going to see that uh, this page was hit. We want to do the same for about. Whenever someone goes to view our about page, 
can say uh, log of info, and we can say uh, log page. Okay, right, so we can save that, and we can run the app again. Okay, so, uh, so now if we click on the uh, About page, and back on the Home page, and we go to our application and now remember where we uh, created the log file we told log for to create the log file in our logs folder right so we're gonna go solution explorer and then right click on uh, on our project open folder in file explorer now this will take us to the uh, destination on our uh, hard drive where our application lives and from there we can look for the logs folder now it should have created a logs folder if it doesn't uh, exist there yet and let's see uh, where's the logs folder hmm. okay so there's an issue we don't find the logs folder which means we missed something, which means the application doesn't see uh, doesn't see our logfinet.config file, and the reason for that is um, we need to go to uh, our you know, solution explorer, go to the properties, and expand the properties node here. And you will see the assembly info.cs. So we need to tell the application basically in the assembly file to tell it uh, where our log for net config file uh, sits and uh, the way we do that is um, I'm just going to grab this line of code which I've written before and we're going to paste it in here so we need to tell it um, the log, log for net dot config file um, sits here or is, uh, is using this name. Okay, so this name must correspond to the actual name of our log for net config file. So now if we save and we run the application again, it should pick up, it should know uh, where, where the log for net config files is. And technically then it should start to log. So let's see uh, what happens. Okay, so let's see now, if we click on about, we view our about page, go back to the home page, and now I'll go look on our hard drive. So, now you see in your application directory, where your source code sits, now there is a logs folder. Now this was created by log for net and there's our log file, so let's open it and see uh, what we find inside. So we will find here that index about index page sheet, about page sheet, and the index page sheet again. So it's logging uh, info for us, and you will see it gives us a timestamp, a date timestamp, and exactly where it's coming from from our home home controller. And there's the message that we're logging. Okay, great. So. Next, we, we want to log uh, something more than just the info, the stats for application. And let's say we want to hit, uh, we want to log uh, an error. So let's just stop the application for now. And here we're going to say, um, let's put in a try catch. Um, and the way it works is it will catch an exception and we can log that error. So what you want to do here is you want to say log error you see there's various different things you can log you can log uh, info as we've done before uh, you can log errors you can log um, a lot of other things warnings etc so we're going to log an error for now 
and we're going to posit uh, the details of the exception. Okay, so what, what are we going to do? So let's put in, um, now this you can use in any kind of try catch blocking application where your application is performing something that could possibly go wrong, could possibly throw an exception or uh, cause an error. So let's say uh, we have uh, we have number variable, we have another one, and we have another one. Let's do a division here by zero, which should uh, which should basically cause uh, an error to occur. So we divide by zero. So let's see what happens. I'm going to put a breakpoint here and let's run it. Okay, so what happens now is as the index page fires up, it comes into the code and you see it actually, you now this line caused an error. So it's going to if you look at the, the error details here, attempted to divide by zero, so it's going to log this error. So let's just have it log it. Okay, great. Now let's go and check out and look at what. Okay, so now not only did it look, uh, did it um, log the the info, the stats, but it also uh, log the error. This says an error. And it says you exactly where it happened in the home controller, and it's divided by zero exception. So this way you can log errors uh, in your application as well. So let's stop the application for now, and now I'm going to show you something uh, very useful. Let's actually uh, delete all of the contents of our log file. And what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go to the log for net config file and we're going to change the level to uh, error so it, we only want to, to log errors now this you can on your uh, server we install the application you can uh, you can go and manually edit this config file um, in this way um, you see the, this is the file and this will also sit on your server when you install this application you can literally go right click on this file you don't have to recompile the application. You can basically just go and say edit it with Notepad or with Notepad++ or anything. And um, you can manually go and just change this without having to rebuild or recompile the application. You can just change this to another to info, to error or whatever. Now, in this case, it's uh, it says error. So it will log only errors and not the warnings or not the stats or the infos. Um, and it's uh, test that to make sure, so save it. Now you're going to run it. So now technically it shouldn't log uh, the info uh, the info logs. It shouldn't create any info logs. Remember we have um, this which says log.info index page sheet. So, and here also we have log.info about page viewed. So you see here now it's stepped in, it still catches the error. Okay, and even though this line of code executes log.info, you will see that it doesn't end up in the log file. So let's go to the log file, the log folder, open it up, and voila, there we go. So it only it only logged the error. Okay, so this is when you don't want to have your log file full of uh, info messages. You I only want to see the, um, the real useful and important stuff like errors. This, this is how you can change it. And that's it in a nutshell. Um, that's how you look, uh, use log for net. Okay, you basically use this line of code here just to instantiate an instance of the log for net uh, library. And you just log it like, like this. It's like a one liner log.error or log.info, and it will log write a log file for you. So when your application runs live on a system, on an intranet, on the internet, 
you can always go back and look at the log file entries to see what what happened in your application. So don't forget to um, include this log for net.config, the config file. Okay, uh, which we specify the level of errors you want to log, as well as the uh, the path file path for your log file, and the maximum um, uh, the maximum size for the file, and um, don't forget to inside your assembly info.cs file which sits under your uh, properties. Okay. Um, don't forget to add this entry to specify to your application where to find the config file for log.